Okay. Hi friends, neighbors, fellow Gwilliams. I'm Doyle Blevins, IP instructor. I'm out here to fly my chipmunk today. Now you guys, I've been trying to share with you the technique to get these flying. I have added my thrust button here. I want to say thank you also to Alan for videoing for me. I forgot my tripod and he's been giving me such grace here of allowing me, videoing for me. So uh, this is a thrust line adjustment button that I make from the leftover parts. You guys know the rules. We have to use what comes in the box to make these adjustments or make these improvements. So this allows me to wind up the model. I've got me a center line mark on the cowling here and then I can spin it right or spin it left to give myself down thrust or a, a right or left. And once you get this and you can when you go to intermediate stage or you detail your model out then you can see where your thrust line should be from the beginner section beginner stage of flight to go into intermediate where you add your landing wheels and all your detail okay let's wind this up and see what I can what I need will it go up will it go down we're gonna try our best to see what it is we've got a maiden flight here today mr. Allen Thank you again for videoing. Wind this thing up. I'm using a 1 8 inch rubber band on a 12 inch loop. The reason I'm using this size loop is it's a 5D prop. I'm using the stock prop that comes in the box, so I don't believe I need as much power. Plus, the model turned out to be only about a 22 gram model, so I don't need the the, the 6D prop, I believe, I'm hoping. So I'm gonna try to count. I'm using a 15 to one winder. Okay, I'm gonna go about half of what I think I need there. There's around 35 turns, 15 to one. Y'all can do the math. <laughs> so this is just uh, test purposes. And one eighth inch will fit into the original cowling slot very nicely. Now I've already took a pencil. I know that the, that looks kind of silly having this thrust line on there, but this is all just giving me my down thrust. And then I can look to the side and I can twist it. That gives me a right thrust, twist it this way if I need a left thrust. So what I'm wanting to do is I want it to turn to the left. So I'm gonna go off, uh, I got the center line. I'm gonna twist this till I have, and it usually stays right in place. Once I get it somewhat trimmed, when I let, be sure and look at this before I pick it up, and if it flew good, I need to take my pencil and mark this location. So I've got myself a left thrust line, and I got still have down thrust. Okay. I'm 35 turns roughly. Okay. A one, two, three, lock. Okay. So that was a little bit too much. I had a little too much left thrust. Let's straighten that up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to. This is why I like a torque meter. A torque meter allows you to go back to a certain uh, power ratio on the motor without having to rewind the entire model from zero. So if you got a thrust, so if you have one, you can always check out my video on YouTube. This is Remember, I don't get paid for this. I'm an IP instructor, so I'm not charging you. So don't never let anyone say that AMA has never offered you anything. I'm giving you free instruction here. We, I show you how to make these uh, torque meters. When you twist it, it will give you the torque on the rubber band. So you can go by torque, not number of turns on the rubber. So you have an exact idea of how much power you're putting in your model. Green means stop, yeah, red means go. I make these, 
and I want to thank Mr. Mike that showed me this. He was AMA Navy. I flew with him in the a in the Nats at East Tennessee State, and we competed together in unlimited rubber speed. And I was nipping at his heels. His second place, third place, second place, third. Day. Every year I was I was getting closer and closer. But he was willing to share his tips and techniques, and I want to say thank you, Mr. Mike. I, I'm I'm terrible with names, so I'm hard to remember you. But you know who you are. Thank you so much for sharing the technique and want me to be a part of the contest. But this is what we call a scale event, a beginner scale event. Today, I'm at roughly, so that way I know I'm flying at two and a half percent torque. That is if you use a .015 wire for your torque meter. All right, I was turning in too much to the left. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the thrust line out. So I went, my thrust line is right here. I'm back on the center. I wanted it to turn to the left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave it right in the center. I would moved it over one eighth of a turn. Now I'm gonna try it perfectly centered. Let's see if it'll still turn to the left and not just fly away. Got just a little bit of a left thrust line. Are you ready? One, two, three, one. I'm still leaning a little bit too much, but you fly, you fly. good I really like that flight I still leaning a little more than I want now I got to make a decision do I want to lift the wing by adding a gurney flap or do I want to add a aerodynamic spoiler flap on top spoiler or gurney uh, that's that's a, a 50 50 decision right there but I'm gonna try First my thrust line before I go into making that full decision. I'm going to change the thrust line just a little bit more to make it offset it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Every second on the clock really means something. So if I tweak this just a little bit, it really means something, especially in this scale event. I'm going to owe uh, Mr. Allen a drink. He's, a, he's getting hot. It looks warm out here. Ain't it? It's a beautiful day at East here at the Cane River Park in Yancey County, North Carolina. We got guys in the UK a part of this. Thank you. Thank, we got people all over on our face. We got 6,000 and so, almost, almost 7,000 members in this Facebook group. So thank you all that are joined in and being a part of this. The, the model is getting wet. I do have one coat of lacquer on it. Uh, and I see that it's, it is getting damp, so I'm not going to completely unwind the model. I got my torque meter here. I'm going to wind it on up to more torque. Let's wind it a little bit here. I'm going up to 3% torque, and that's all I'm going to put on it, okay? I'm not, I'm not sure of the winds, but I'm sure of my torque, so that's why I'm using is torque. Knowing that power. This is my 11th year as IP instructor with the Academy of Mall Aeronautics, and we're hoping to be re-upped for three more years, so I'm the Asheville Buncombe Air Modeling Club. Their property got leased out to Duke Energy, so we're, uh, they're closing their doors to the club. I'm still insured till December the 31st, and then after this, 
Uh, we're seeing if JCRC is going to pick me up as an IP instructor. They definitely want me as a trainer, but I would prefer an IP. That lets me help non-insured members or non-insured flyers. The uh, federal government has got involved, and for $5, you can get a federal ID and fly at a park like this. Go to dronezone.gov forward slash USA. And you can pay five dollars it gives you a three year number sad to say it's a three year that you keep on your person and then you keep, you can put it write it on your plane a little bit if, and but free flight has been non-exempt i mean exempt from this but i do fly radio control model airplanes drones and stuff like that so okay i'm going to i'm going to put it back on the center i'm going to look where i'm going i'm going to turn be rotating my thrust line over one sixteenth of an inch. If this does not, we, we what we're wanting to do is get it to come up and, and fly a little bit flatter, and hopefully stay to a left-hand circle. If if it does not do that, then I'm gonna have to make the decision. But that will be another video. Well, first again, Alan, thank you so much for videoing and and taking away from your day of, uh, of exercise and enjoying this wonderful day. So here we go. Let's see what we got. Make another lap. Come on, come on, come on, Alan. Uh, thank you, Alan. Thank you for videoing. Thank you guys for being a part of this year's 2022 Build Off Fly Off. Bye, Williams. Bye. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely.